Meckel's diverticulum is the most common congenital anomaly of the GI tract, arising from the antimesenteric surface of the middle to distal ileum. It results from incomplete obliteration of the vitelline or omphalomesenteric duct, which connects the midgut to the yolk sac in the fetus. A variety of anomalies can result from failure of involution of the duct, including omphalomesenteric cysts, omphalomesenteric fistula that drain through the umbilicus, and fibrous bands from the diverticulum to the abdominal wall that predispose to bowel obstruction. The classic Meckel's diverticulum, without any additional attachment, accounts for 90% of cases. The rule of twos is the classic description of the features of a Meckel's diverticulum. It states that a Meckel's occurs in approximately 2% of the population with a male to female ratio of 2 to 1, is located within 2 feet of the ileocecal valve, and can be 2 inches in length. Approximately 2% of patients develop a complication over the course of their lives, most often before the age of 2. The two most common types of heterotopic mucosa are gastric and pancreatic, although others include colonic, duodenal, and endometrial. Hemorrhage and obstruction are the most common presentation in younger patients, whereas obstruction and inflammatory symptoms are most common in older patients. Meckel's accounts for nearly 50% of lower GI bleeds in children and is usually painless and occurs in infants and toddlers. Bleeding is caused by ulceration of the small bowel adjacent to or just downstream from the diverticulum due to acid secretion by ectopic gastric mucosa. Obstruction can be secondary to fibrous bands attaching the diverticulum to the abdominal wall as a pathological lead point in intussusception or within the diverticulum incarcerated in hernia, known as a Littre hernia. Diagnosis of a bleeding Meckel's diverticulum can be made by using a Meckel scan or mesenteric angiography. A Meckel scan is a nuclear medicine study using technetium radiotracer, which has an affinity for gastric mucosa. Obstruction caused by the diverticulum, a patent duct, adhesive bands, or inflammation secondary to Meckel's diverticulitis can be identified on CT. A Meckel's diverticulum can be resected by a simple diverticulectomy or by a segmental small bowel resection and primary anastomosis. Segmental resection is preferred if the small bowel lumen is in jeopardy of being narrowed, a palpable anomaly is present at the base of the diverticulum, or the neck of the diverticulum is wide. Segmental resection is also indicated for neoplasms or for ischemic or injured bowel due to obstruction or inflammation. When GI bleeding is the primary clinical manifestation, segmental resection removes the gastric mucosa within the diverticulum as well as the mucosal ulceration located in the adjacent small bowel. However, there is no definitive data demonstrating superiority of segmental resection over diverticulectomy, and it's likely that both are effective surgical approaches. In patients with a Meckel's diverticulum discovered incidentally on imaging, elective resection is not recommended. Management of a normal appearing Meckel's diverticulum identified during abdominal exploration is controversial and dependent on the future risk of complications. Most surgeons recommend resection in pediatric patients or healthy young adults with anatomical risk factors, such as length greater than 2 centimeters, a palpable anomaly, or fibrous bands.